Greetings guys, welcome back to the Home Slice. Today we are going through some different variations. I've sharpened up some different variations of dual grit edges to see if any of them outperform the exceptional results of my original method, which I tested last time. So I'm really excited. Some of these are testing on the best, very, very close to like what the 250 grit coarse plate, which really tested well in terms of easily cutting through the manila rope. They're testing up closer to the 250 grams best mark. Some of them are testing down lower, uh, more like what the fine edges did. So my original method tested at 130 grams, which is close to what a lot of the fine edges did. This is one of the ones from the middle. This one, rather than the Kingstone, has been sharpened on the fine side with a Spyderco Ultra Fine. I'm excited about it because the Spyderco Ultra Fine on the fine edge alone has given one of the best test results so far. The best test result uh, before the dual grit edge kicked it out of that. So it's, it's sharpened down to 183 grams on the best. Here's a video of that. Now, the reason why I show you videos of the best testing and I don't test it now is because I test the knives all right after sharpening. The reason for that is you can lose five or 10 grams because of oxidation just over time. Now, is five or 10 grams best a big deal? No, like not at all, that's not a big deal. But what I don't want to do is wait on one and then test another one earlier and like have different time frames and say one edge is better as a starting point than another just because I tested it earlier and make it unfair. So I test them all right after sharpening so all the results are flat, equal, and fair on the initial best testing. Let's get into it. We'll do the slicing force, the Andy near-death experience rope, see how many times we get through that, see how the toughness test goes on pounding it into the piano leg with a 5 kg dumbbell, and we'll see how it stacks up against the original dual grit edge. Let's get into it. That was about three kg, I believe. I'll, I'll go back and check the video, but that's not bad. That's pretty similar to a lot of the edges. All right, Andy, let's go. Wow, look at that. I don't know if I can overstate how insane the aggressive the aggression is on this Spyderco Ultra Fine Dual Grid Edge. I've never used this edge before. That was insane. That was the best aggression by far. That was better, much better than even just the normal 250 grit both sides edge. That was much more aggressive than my original dual grid edge. Wow. This would be interesting to see how the best results turn out. All right, let's see. Ooh, 391, interesting. Okay. So this is behaving a lot more like the Easy Lap 250 grit edge did by itself. It had really good slicing aggression, but it fell in best score quite rapidly. The first score on that was, oh, sorry guys, a 444. But I kept going because the aggression was so good. So let's do that as well with this and we'll see if that trend continues or if it sort of stabilizes under, under 400. Very interesting. Wow, slicing aggression is still so good. I could feel it clearly fall about halfway through the rope. I think this is behaving 
like a 250 grit edge that really, really aggressive, but like slightly cleaned up and a little bit better on the best keenness and stability. So I don't even know if I would call this like the, I don't know if I would even call the results of this like the same dynamic that happens with dual grit because it's not, it's not as smoothed out, but it, it's actually a bit more aggressive initially and it falls faster. So it's, it's more like a really well cleaned up coarse edge. It's about halfway in between dual grit and normal 250 grit coarse in terms of performance, in terms of how it feels, how the performance feels. Oh, 398. This is very much performing like a, a well cleaned up coarse edge that hasn't lost any of its aggression. So very interesting. All right, let's do a third one. Okay, still pretty easy. I'm gonna say like it's it's getting more difficult, but it's not at the level of any of the fine edges yet in terms of the amount of force I have to put into it. All right, what does the best say? What does the best say? Three seventy nine says the best. Must have catch caught a slightly different millimeter of edge, or uh, I'm trying to butt them all up against, so trying to test the exact same spot, or potentially the way that it's being worn away actually reduced the keenness, which is possible, especially with dual grid edges. But it's odd that it happens. Okay, let's do another. Okay, four times through. Man, the long-standing retained aggression is amazing on this edge. It's really good. That's awesome. <laughs> okay. Let's see if we're at 400 grams yet. <laughs> 398. Wow. I think we're going for round number five. Just barely. <laughs> Crazy retained aggression on this edge, guys. This is cool. Spyderco Ultra Fine. You guys got to try this. So I sharpened this on a 250 grit easy lap diamond stone, both sides. And then I refined one side on a Spyderco Ultra Fine, just a fine, fine ceramic stone, edge trailing strokes, and stropped it five times each side with um, flat denim strop with Mother's Mag, which is an aluminum oxide paste. And then I did two strokes like everything else i just do two two kind of aligning aligning strokes on leather uh hanging leather okay here we go let's see if it makes it through number five it'd be the first one ever Okay, five times through the rope, which is a very impressive result. Never happened before that I could physically get through the rope five times. 
Now after five times through the rope, it is beginning to approach the sort of laboriousness of a fine edge going through the rope, like the first or second time. So very, very impressive retained aggression. Let's see where our best is sitting at. Last reading was 398. We'll see if it's gonna tell us it went up or down, I assume. It will have gone up over 400. <laughs> 324. Oh my goodness. Okay. I guess that means we got to try for number six. This is insane. was frustrating. Yeah, you mean she, she was frustrated? She was frustrated with us. Why was she frustrated with you? So we need to stay inside. Mm. We always have to stay out, out by, outside. Out, yeah, outside. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey kiddo, I'm actually filming right now. So um No, I think, I think I'll have you go inside, sweetie. I'll come in in just a second when I'm done with this one and get some water anyway, and I'll come say hi to you and give you more hugs, okay? Yeah, and do more, and I'll do, I'll do books, and then go out and dump them. Yeah, maybe. Love you. Okay, six times through Andy. That is a record for sure. Getting a bit harder. Let's see what the best has to say. But man, Spiderco ultra fine. Some serious aggression. Four fifty four. So we're finally there. Wow. Six times through. Wow. All right, let's wrap up with the last two tests. All right, just, just over eight. KG. Toughness test. All right. Post toughness test. Let's see what our best is. Four fifty seven. Nearly identical to the pre toughness test number, which would indicate not a lot of edge is lost under impact after some wear has occurred. Very interesting. Okay, <laughs> let's wrap this up. This is really crazy. So this went twice as long as any of the edges have gone so far, including the Spider Co. Ultra Fine, but the best readings initially were not as good. So is this a fully improved dual grit edge? You know, this, this actually feels more like a fully improved coarse edge, to be honest. Like if you just put a ceramic on one side of your coarse edges, you could potentially get twice as much life out of them 
and that aggression could last a lot longer, which is really cool. The best readings are significantly higher than my original dual grit edge, and the feel of the edge is not as smooth. So I don't know that I would say that this is a fully improved dual grit edge, as much as I would say that this is a dual grit edge that you trade off some of the smoothness for extra lasting aggression. So maybe this is a better work knife edge and the other one is a better kitchen knife edge. I'm not sure, it just depends on your preference and your tastes, but amazing results in terms of lasting aggression on the dual grit edge with a Spyderco Ultra Fine. If you have a diamond plate, and a ceramic, I would highly encourage you to try this because this was a joy to cut with. Almost forgot a paper test again. For those of you guys who don't have best machines. Yeah, still slicing paper, definitely not push cutting, having difficulty catching in. Definitely rougher and dirtier, like more chipped feeling and still more aggressive than the original dual grid edge, which sort of harmonizes with the findings that this is a more aggressive dual grid edge. This is a dual grid edge where the aggression lasts longer, but it's never quite as smooth as with the King 6K on the fine side. What's up guys? I'm just gonna orient you guys to how I'm gonna be displaying information from here on out throughout the Andy tests. Now, in the past, I've tried graphs and charts, and I find that they lead to more complication and confusion. So I'm gonna try to make the information that I'm analyzing a little bit more visually accessible, and I'll weed out some of the edges that haven't performed satisfactorily, and just list the edges that I'm currently testing right now in the video, or the ones that have been the best at something. So let's check out this information that's in front of you. All the way on the left, we have the best performing fine edge so far in the Andy tests. I haven't included a coarse edge because I have not yet had a coarse edge that performed under 400 best as well as the others, i.e. that's made it through the rope three or four times and still been under 400 best. That's what I'm shooting for. So up at the top column of all of them, you see the initial best measurement, how sharp the edge was right off the stones. Right under that, you see the most important metric, which is how many times did it make it through the Andy rope. Under that, you have some of the more bro science -y ones, like slicing kilograms to kind of quantify at the beginning and end of the test, how aggressively was it cutting through that sisal rope. Uh, under that, there's average best score for the whole thing. After the impact test, uh, the initial sharpness, and all of the cuts, this is sort of meant to sort of encapsulate what is your general experience with this edge going to look like? What is your average, in all different circumstances, average best score? And finally, at the bottom, I've taken the best score before I bash it into the piano leg and after, and I've quantified how many grams of Bess more, or how much duller, it is after the impact test. So lower numbers are better there. You can see there's a slot on the side where the current edges that I'm testing from here on out will go to compare against the winners so far. Anyway, if you want to see the last test where I tested my original dual gray edge, that's here. For all the rest of you, thanks for tuning in. I'll say peace out from the home slice. Bye, guys.